So my channel is Love with Speed. Thank you for all of my new subscribers. Thank you for watching all of my content. Hope you're enjoying it. Today video will be based off pros and cons. A lot of people come into the maritime industry and don't expect half of the stuff that we deal with. So I'm gonna start with the cons first. First thing is you will miss your family and friends. You away from them for 120 to 180 days. They will be missed. But you have to communicate. Text them as much as you can. Most of the time, the time zone is different. The service, there is little to no Wi-Fi. And another thing is you work seven days a week. Your contract is 120 days. You're working 120 days. There is some chief mates and some chief engineers that may give you a half day. So you know how much money you want to make. You know how much money you want to go back home with. So it's up to you if you want to do all your OT or not. You don't have to. You don't have to drain yourself out. Or in one. <laughs> your relief. Your relief may not come on time. You may be on the ship for an extra two weeks. Maybe an extra month. It's up to the company to hurry up and send your paperwork to the union and it's up to the union to post a job on the board so it's best to communicate you work and live in the same area there's no escaping if you have an issue with somebody it's best to just talk about it i mean i can't talk because a woman wake up different every day and one minute i may have a cool little spirit and the next day i don't want to be bothered with anybody i don't want to talk on the breaks i don't want to do none of that and i'm a woman once you get on my bad side it's over and done it ain't no coming back after that Say something rude, or you tell me how to do something in a negative way. No, I don't like you no more now. Now I don't like you. Now you're on my shit list. <laughs> so, on to the good stuff. You make a lot of money, and the goal is to save a lot of money. Once you have free time, you go into these ports. Everybody want to spend money. There's no taxes, no this, no that. It's cheaper. Yes, it's cheaper, but the goal is to save your money. I wish y'all would come out here for six months and y'all go back home with nothing gotta leave your family for another for six months no we're not doing that have y'all a little party time chill relax once you're off the ship and then come back and do what you came out here to do keep your eyes on the prize like you can wake up last minute and go down to your mustard no community you ain't gotta drive to work you ain't gotta pay no toll bridges you ain't gotta put gas in the car you don't gotta buy your own lunch the cook make us breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And little fruit snacks and throw a little fruit cookies and cakes and pies. I make it a little slushy, a little smoothie every now and again. But we're not spending no money. Only money we spend is when we want to go out and party. And that need to be chopped down because we're not doing that, like I said. And then the food evens out because we got two gyms. So you can't be eating all that food and you don't work out. If you pay attention, most of the sailors got a little gut, and I'm almost there eating all this food. I need to be going to the gym myself. I try to go to the gym every day and don't, but I'm going to really go because it's free. Why am I not going? I just eat my food and then lay down. That's that's how the food goes sticks to me. I need to work it out, you know? You travel for free. You see so many cultures. It ain't really humble you because Americans, we are so spoiled. We have so many opportunities, and when you go to these other countries, you see how they live, and you see how they make something out of nothing. For a six months, pick up a cool habit, but make sure you always have a get up plan. I tell myself I was going to do this for six years. Six years, I should have all the money saved up to do my business, or please. Even this new generation, we is not working until we're 65 years old. And I feel so sorry for a new generation. Like, my nieces and my nephew, it's going to be by time. Hell, I feel sorry for me. They might up it to 75. I'm 28. <laughs> like, that's all I got so far. So, make sure you have a relief. Make sure you communicate with people in them halls. Exchange them phone numbers or WhatsApp or whatever you got to do. Make sure you get your relief on time. That's the main thing. Save money. Get your relief. Take all the pictures you can. Make all the memories you can with the people you own the ship with. Them gonna be your friends for life. The good ones. <laughs> the good ones. But yeah, that's all I got so far.